Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Aliens, moon bases, UFOs. Sounds crazy. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Let's do a little game. Let's go up there where you see the nice picture of whatever that is. Jupiter, go down, press moon, enter Google Moon. We'll now see it roll in. Google Moon, unfortunately, um, you couldn't see much before. It used to zoom in about two kilometers and then you just see craters. A couple of areas have opened up where the uh, resolution has increased. I will now start to take you there. In this uh, video, I'll uh, briefly try to um, go to all the areas and you've got 21 episodes of full coverage so again this started I saw 12 UFO orbs over Sydney 8th of June 2010 then I saw um, 5 white and 2 red on the 24th of March 2012 I started to do research um, okay here we go into the uh, Tychos craters now these craters um, are very uh, barren and all these new images uh, came from the Kaguya satellite, which was around 2010. So it took fairly close high resolution images. Um, certain areas have been then opened up with these high resolution images. Um, normally you can't see very close down all the other NASA photographs, which I'm not sure why not. Uh, so we'll actually zoom into now this area I'm trying to show you. It's uh, a Tycho Craters, T Y C. So we'll just uh, zoom down. You'll see the whole area is opening up, except the other area around it is obviously uh, less resolution. So you think, okay, there's just craters, there's nothing much there. It's a barren. Anyone who suggests all these aliens and all this crap, you know, they they're probably on some sort of drugs or something. Yeah, all these articles were saying uh, millions are living on the moon, it's, it's an alien, a base, and Venus is the same, and NASA just lies to us about being full of sulfuric acid and high temperatures, Mars is the same thing. Let's quickly zoom in. We've got some ancient alien cities here, which um, are on the landscape, and NASA has tried to change the resolution on this, so it's not that clear. Uh, you can actually see the uh, buildings and walls coming up. Um, um, the, const the construction is uh, mostly towers and uh, quite a few have been airbrushed out using um, low resolution but here we come now to the real things so basically you'll see the construction everywhere on the moon is the same ar around the craters or canyons which in this case um, uh, you'll see all the towers there on the edges one there all around there that's actually been censored with uh, reduced resolution software but here we have two happening at 120 meters shadow so if you just zoom into this whole area here and watch my other videos you'll see hundreds of these things appearing so that's 120 meters um, it's a very dry area there's no uh, vegetation I'll then take you to one more crater where it's very green it's full of vegetation the atmosphere is rumored to be about two miles high the other crater system is on the far side. It's an ancient lava flow known as Amari, M A R E, Moscow Vence. So I'll actually zoom in now. Um, the area is about 300 square kilometers. It hasn't been censored at all. So I've labeled about 1,200 structures. The population looks like it's uh, millions. There's no man made uh, bases or anything like that happening. There's no runways or um, anything like that. So the area of this 300 square kilometers, as you can see, I'm just zooming in now, the, the resolution all of a sudden clears up. You'll see the craters from very high up. You think, well, you know, what's the big news? There's nothing there but craters. What sort of alien cities are we talking about? We zoom in at 15 kilometers, there's nothing there. Hold on, we're coming in a crater. We're about three kilometers higher. All these towers on the edge of the crater, similar to the Tycho crater, that's 240 meters that's a horizontal rod I'll just use the ruler again in case anyone doesn't believe me so that's a 250 240 well here it says 270 uh, meters you'll see all the rod like structures there the area is swarming with uh, buildings and um, the usually tower formations or rod uh, buildings 
here we have more examples. All the orbs um, are actually all the rods are actually in the crater edge. That's so a very common feature seen of Tycho. Um, we've got towers that reach uh, above the ground. You have walled areas, light light green. That area is um, rods as well, which form a rectangular shape. And anywhere you zoom in, you'll just see all these rod uh, buildings, which are either 50 uh, meters, 60. They jump to 100, 120. That's about 15 stories high. We'll just zoom in on one other one at the moment. This is a prime example. It's very clear. You'll have all the rod-like structures coming out of craters. Always around the edge you'll see very fine-like walls around it. And this is very dark green. Towards the uh, bottom of the craters it's full of uh, vegetation where there's uh, moisture. And NASA obviously does not want to tell us these things. It's very scared of the repercussions. So there's hundreds of thousands uh, down there similar to this sort of structure. In this crater at the uh, bottom we have what resembles a very large either earth uh, moving t type of um, a digging machine. Uh, I'll actually uh, measure that. Or a flying machine. It's actually on the edge of the crater. Um, using the ruler apparatus here it's fairly immense. It's about 250 uh, meters long um, by I think about 80 wide with two fins or whatever coming around the edge. That's about 70, 80 wide. So it's either a uh, flying machine or a digging instrument. Um, that's the only image I found on, in any of the craters. So I'll actually zoom closely. So that's sitting in the craters. And again, all the craters are surrounded by these uh, buildings. You just have to zoom in from about six kilometers. You focus on one. You'll see all the towers everywhere in the landscape. During my research, I've had to consult William Cooper in his article The Hidden Truth on YouTube, also Phil Schneider um, about a UFO a bases under the ground here um, as well. Okay, here we have a long structure. Um, it seems to be some sort of a bridge. Um, if we actually measure that, it's it seems to fade into the ground. It's 1.5 uh, kilometers long and uh, from the sides it's from the shadow down it's about 140 so it's about 120 high you'll see as we zoom in there's full of structures around it, uh, buildings um, it seems to be cloaked I can't seem to focus into it the end is very large you'll see the rod like structure of that device it, either it's a flying machine or it's actually been built as some sort of tower um, it then comes close to these other uh, buildings which are all scattered on the ground and there's uh, rod-like uh, buildings happening. There's no uh, runway next to it so it's fairly unusual but that's, that structure there is um, very long and very uh, narrow and looks very artificial. This is also similar type construction. It's like a rod a bridge which is about 500 uh, meters wide that goes over that crater and by focusing in there you can see the crisscross pattern of rod formations there forming that structure. One other peculiar thing you'll see um, in craters, you'll see what looks like artificial growths happening and they always have about three sticking out, three prongs I'll call them. These prongs are about, I'll measure that's about three kilometers. Um, from the start of the growth they're about two and a half kilometers and this will happen, you'll see that once again coming up. This area of the moon also the, the resolution has increased. I think there's some previous uh, landings happening. You'll see all the flags there. All of a sudden you zoom in. Um, you can read the names of the craters there. Everything looks fine until you zoom into this area. We have a crater full with again three heads sticking out. Um, they, they look like towers but they're not straight. They look very uh, bent and all of a sudden we'll take the ruler out and that one there is about 2.9 kilometers so again it's very similar to the other structure and it's a crater with all with three towers sticking out some areas are very uh, densely populated you'll see all the structures there happening you'll see all the walls courtyards a greenery is coming into the area as well uh, that's a courtyard system there, excavation, towers, rod towers. This is a height of about uh, four kilometers. You'll see 
buildings, courtyards, uh, a lot of activity happening here on the grounds. Some are very uh, dense areas. Um, as we go higher up, we lose we lose that type of resolution. So obviously, from about 20 kilometres up or 25, it just looks like a normal moon surface. Um, as we go down, you'll see the area is heavily populated. There's no airports or landing fields. I don't see anything human there at all. Um, the rumour is the same is happening on a Venus. They tell us it's full of sulfuric acid, except when a Russian probe landed and the atmosphere was meant to be 900 degrees, the parachutes opened without a problem. It took very clear pictures of a very tranquil landscape. The same is also with Mars. There is a no high resolution pictures on concerning the Martian surface. Obviously it could be full of cities as well, same as Venus. Um, if we only see 300 square k's here on the moon, and there could be a, a population of uh, millions in these areas here, obviously the moon has tens of uh, millions of aliens uh, living on there. We assume these uh, buildings are st still inhabited. Just by zooming in from about six kilometers up, you can tell the where the rod uh, buildings are. Normally they're very luminous. I'll pick these examples. Uh, it seems to be rod-like structures. It's a crater. Excavation, usually squarish around the structures and internal rods as well. Uh, there's usually a bright white line around the walls. And um, this does not res resemble anything that I've seen on Earth or any human type of um, uh, construction. And they're all uh, different. There's not one similar thing. There's no a battle axe a blocks or a masters and homes are littering the area. They're all individual and I haven't seen any type of pattern that repeats itself except the type of structures that are there. There's either a very light green landscape or some areas low down very dark green. And the pilots of uh, Apollo 8 reported seeing a, a mist when they went on the far side of the moon. I've seen quite a few pictures of these um, alien moon things but obviously because I can't because you can't zoom in yourself and see it using Google Moon obviously you think they're not real so I'll just quickly show you the structures we've got rod like structures they're usually luminous that height there is um, they're not they look small but they're not that's about 80 meters which is about 30 stories or more you'll see areas of excavation and courtyards around it zigzag patterns indicating uh, walkways or whatever um, that's a nice one there and basically you'll see from high up areas have been excavated around it you'll see darker valleys again with vegetation as we go down and deeper into the craters it becomes more dark green so there's evidence of vegetation and um, they're always a, a different type of formation You'll see a lot of walls in some areas. Um, they're all very peculiar in shape and they're not repeating. Some areas are very densely packed, some are very sparse. Again, here we zoom one area here as well. You see the rods always coming out of these type of craters. You'll see the rod uh, buildings as well, shadows, a little bit of rods coming off there. I don't like to be one of these UFO researchers because I end up having accidents or strangulations or a shot. So again, I wish I didn't see these UFOs flying over Sydney. Um, I've got about 20 videos or 21 on YouTube. You can see all step-by-step -step, uh, description of the architecture there. That's a typical indication of wall-like structures. Some are square uh, buildings. Um, here we go again. They're always on the edge of the crater, these rods. The one a building there as well. This has been very short, so I hope it's actually just quickly shown you what's happening down here in the landscape. Uh, I've got a whole 21 episode thing there, step by step, zooming in on the various structures. So just by chance I'm zooming in here, it hasn't, hasn't been uh, labelled. And again you can see the peculiar structures happening. Uh, the towers come out of the craters, you'll always see a zigzag bright wall around it. Some of these towers appear luminous as though they're actually uh, emitting energy. And um, the older structures at Tycho could be hundreds of thousands or uh, millions of years old. There's uh, no wind erosion or hurricanes or rains happening. So we don't know the age of these uh, buildings. They could, in theory, last hundreds of thousands of years and still look new. And um, 